Oh yeah, YouTube. George here. Hope you're all well. Um, no, I've been kind of going on for a while that I'm going to make a an aerial. Or I was going to buy one actually for the roof of the shed here, for the radios when they're on test on the bench here, and um, rather than plugging into the other one, that I can just leave that set up with me, me whatever radio I have it connected to here. So then I remembered I had this uh, this here. I stripped all the the black stuff off it. I think this was for uh, forty meters or something like that. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna unwind all this coil off it here, and we're gonna make a nine foot tank whip. So it comes to here in fiberglass and continues on then up that way uh, with a stainless whip so we need to add uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 we need to add 16 inches to it to make it 9 foot but I'm going to do it in a way that you see you can adjust it here for SWR so yeah I have a couple of magnet bases there and uh, yeah, been an interesting project. I think it's 40 meters with that coil. I think it's too short to be 80 meters. An 80 meter one would have a the fiberglass part would be probably up to be up to here anyway. It'd be seven or eight foot long, and then you'd have a, a stainless whip out the top of that. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. So we'll see how it goes. We'll be back. Right. Okay, so um, I have it stripped down now. Took all the enamel wire off. And uh, there's a temporary join here till I come up with a neater solution. Now the beauty of this is that where the uh, whip goes down into the, into the fiberglass part, it's hollow all the way down so it's going to make tuning it very easy. So what I've done here is I left a little piece of enamel wire on each end. You can see just about see the other one there. And I've removed the enamel and I have them tinned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run a length of it up along and uh, temporarily tape it. And uh, we'll put the whip in then. And stick it on a base and see what happens. Right, so we're coax coming out of the radio. I'm going to this ground plane about 18 by 12. That's all I biggest sheet of steel I had at the moment. I didn't have the proper connection, so I just have the antenna is insulated from the mag mag mount by a couple of rubber washers, and uh, I'm just clipped on directly to the where the solder is there. And then I just have this little fly lead coming back here and it's connected to the steel. So it does work. Um, I'll wait till I get the proper connections before I try and see what the SWR is like. So in the meantime we'll, we can tape this up and have that done. And uh, I'll order a few bits and pieces to uh
Yeah, so um, that's what it's like with epoxy little ground plane like that under it, which in effect is the same as the old uh, DV27 on the, the biscuit tin lid that we all used to do years ago. Uh, so the plan is, um, I see, can I get my hands on a couple of magnet ba bases like that one and uh, make some sort of a, a tripod type mount and uh, I'll get a 3.8 fitting then that will mount on a piece of aluminium plate or something like that and uh, it'll need the three magnets under it because it's quite tall you know it's nine foot so um, I'm quite pleased with that I haven't done anything like this in years and uh, this is good fun So I suppose just to show the newer guys, you know, you don't really need a whole lot to get yourself to the stage that you can hear all this kind of stuff what goes on, you know, battery, radio, bit of coax, essentially a nine foot long length of wire going straight up. Now you could do it the other way, you could go, say, across that wall, across over to the fence. And, and get yourself nine foot whatever it is a wire each way and have a chalk block connector in the center and put your braid to one side and your center core to the other side and that'll give you a dipole and you'll be able to transmit and all that well you will on this eventually but I just wouldn't chance it now with the um, the way that's done this is my 360 Part of the personal collection. She's the Mark One. It's not the FM One. Fairly rare radio. Uh, totally untouched inside as well. Bought it as parts of repair on eBay, and uh, it worked perfect. I have the other radio on inside just loud enough that I can hear it and anything that I can hear on the IMAX I can hear it on that good fun so there you go we'll uh, come back to you in the next video and hopefully at that stage of the game I'll have it on the roof of the shed and then I can put that on the chimney. IMAX 2000. Love them or hate them, they do work. So, 73, we'll get you in the next one.